Howdy, everybody. Um, so everyone always asks me how I can eat so many bananas. One simple answer is smoothies. If you drink or eat smoothies, you can pack bananas or fruit in there, and it's awesome. So usually I do about eight bananas at a time just because that's what fits in my blender. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it. Pretty simple, but I think I would have appreciated if I was just starting out or wanting to do it. So um, what I have here are my bananas. These are my bananas. Yes. They look way, way, way too ripe for most people. Um, I always say they're banana bread bananas, but nope, this is what I eat. Um, these are almost like too far gone, so that's why I definitely want to eat them today. Um, so I have that. I have my jar that I put my smoothie in, and I use a glass straw. Water. I have my bin. I compost all my fruit scraps or anything, actually, I can compost in the house. I compost. I have a bin out back. Um, so this is what I put it in for all my, um, the waste. And then these are bananas. Um, believe it or not, I have another thing in the freezer of bananas that looks just the same. Um, I know it seems like a lot. I try to buy in bulk. It's cheaper that way, number one. Number two, I go through so many bananas that it keeps my stock up. But um, as they ripe, if they become too ripe, I go ahead and just freeze them. Some people will put them in Ziplocs. Once again, I use them so fast that I just put them on a cookie sheet. Um, they kind of look weird, but I don't know if you'll be able to see it on there, but they almost look like they have a caramelized texture on them. Um, that's how I like them best. Depending on who you talk to, most people will say you need everything to be at room temperature, and I think that's great. However, what how I prefer it, I prefer instead of using ice or cold water, I use room temperature water and some frozen bananas. It doesn't necessarily change much, but like I said, it's best to be room temperature, but this is how I like them, so that's how I eat them. So um, let's go ahead and start. Just peel your bananas like normal. Like I said, I usually do about eight bananas, so I usually do like four um, room temperature bananas and then four frozen bananas. And I just fill it all the way up. Um, I try to fill up as much as possible. Um, right now, I just have a generic, I don't want to say generic, it's like an Oster um, blender. I don't have a Vitamix or a Blendtec. That's an upgrade that I'm looking to do in the future, but right now I don't. So I have four in there, and then I just have some of the frozen. And then I usually do about half of the blender of water. And then put the lid on and start with the low. I gotta show you guys I absolutely I was never a person that cooked in the kitchen or anything it just wasn't my thing but now that I'm in the kitchen I have my dogs here and it's so cool because they absolutely love fruit so I gotta show you guys my my kiddos see there they are and I'm also dog sitting my parents dog Sloopy so they are there and I gotta share the bananas with them so everyone gets a piece Boy. I think it's great because, you know, everyone's like, oh, you know, I don't even buy treats for my dogs. I just give them fruit and veggies. And they absolutely love it. So, um, that's about it. Let me give one last whirl here. And this would be basically my breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, sometimes I actually go back and make more, but 
that's it in a nutshell. Hope you guys will try it someday and uh, find out it's really good because half the time, if they're really, really ripe, it actually tastes like candy. So try it sometime. Be grateful and keep smiling.